AI is all the rage right now in the world of real estate, really the world of property tech and any tech really. But in this video, I'm gonna go over really five different ways to utilize AI to help you power your home search. So tip number one is to use an AI powered search tool. For example, pretty much all of you know Redfin, Zillow, uh, Realtor.com, these, these places, they kind of all use these similar tech features more or less, but you can utilize these to help you quickly respond to uh, a listing that pops up on the market or help you find a listing if you don't really know uh, exactly where to look in a neighborhood. You can give it uh, search par prim parameters or criteria rather to help you narrow down um, you know, places or neighborhoods that might fit your needs. For example, the new Zillow app that is now a plugin, or rather the plugin that goes into ChatGPT for Zillow will allow you to tell it, hey, I just moved from XYZ City and I want to find a two to three bedroom home, 1500 square feet or greater. And essentially what that's gonna do is allow Zillow and ChatGPT to communicate with each other and it'll go on Zillow to find those exact listings that you might be looking for. So that's one way to use AI for your real estate search. Tip number two is to utilize the virtual reality or virtual tours that are already on Zillow. So pretty much every real estate agent nowadays, they should be creating some sort of 3D or a 360 degree view using Matterport or the Zillow app, 360 Home, or any of those kind of apps that you can utilize um, to make a virtual tour that you can essentially walk through on your phone. Now you're not gonna get the sights, the smells, and the feelings of the exact home, but what you are gonna get if you are out of town or relocating from another city is the ability to see how the home flows as you walk through it. Now if you couple this with um, you know, VR goggles, if your kid or someone you know has some of those Oculus VR goggles, you put those on, you are really transported into the home that will allow you to feel what that home actually might feel like in person. Tip number three is to utilize AI tech to help you analyze whether or not a property is a good investment. So Zillow has these options, Redfin, Realtor.com, Trulia, pretty much any property uh, website that you use right now, even real estate agent websites have the ability to analyze whether or not a property is a good investment for you, whether it's be a long-term, short-term, short-term Airbnb rental, um, buy and flip, flip and hold, burr, XYZ, you name it, doesn't really matter. Utilize the AI tools to help you simplify the analysis process to help more or less cut down on the time it takes you to go, Yes, this is a good or a bad decision. Tip number four is to ask AI to help you determine the best mortgage product for you. So you can go on ChatGPT, you can go on Google Bard, really any one of these products. Now ChatGPT, if you don't have GPT-4, you're not gonna be able to utilize the internet per se unless you get some other plugins like the web plugin. But outside of that, now what you will be able to do is simply ask Bard, hey, what are some of the best mortgage uh, products for me in my given situation? And then give it your situation. For example, um, you know, I'm a 1099 employee. I make X amount per year. I don't have X, Y, Z to show for my income, but I have it in bank statements. It might recommend a bank statement loan. It might recommend seller financing. It might recommend ways to do, for example, a 2-1 buy down to save a lot of rates. But nevertheless, you utilize the AI tools to help point you in the right direction. Any real estate agent should be able to explain each and every single option that the AI gives you to help you better make a decision on which mortgage product is the best for your given situation. And tip number five is to utilize a real estate agent that is modern and up with the times or rather woke on the AI tech um, that is now being utilized in the real estate industry. It is actually mind blowing how quickly you can utilize, you know, these different AI tools, whether that be, for example, ChatGPT, which is, I keep going back to ChatGPT because it's the biggest and the most known. It has like 100 million users or something ridiculous, but it utilize these tools to help you, uh, you more or less streamline your process. You don't need to utilize these tools only. Don't, don't make your, you know, 
you're you're finding your perfect home, determining your budget, or, or uh, figuring out what you need to be paying for a mortgage, don't let AI tell you to do that. Do do that on your own. Like you need to be able to not be married to the payment, have fun money, as I like to call it, but utilize these tools to help you streamline the process. So. Um, if you got any use out of this video or got any value from this video, feel free to hit the subscribe button to stay tuned on more AI and as it relates to real estate. And um, until the next video, I'm Alex Valari. I'll see you later. Cue.